you know, I've prolonged this video for about a month now. And I know I said I had it, a video already ready and blah 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 in my last video, but tell you the truth, after reviewing it, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I didn't think that I was being honest with you guys. I didn't even think I was being honest with myself. After re-watching it a few times, I really thought I was just kind of BSing myself and just trying to give the, you know, sweep under the rug type thing and just try to pretend that things aren't wrong. But, um, you guys deserve better than that. You guys have been with me since NWF. Even the new fans that have been watching me since NABW has been formed, it, I deserve to give you guys a real honest answer and opinion and um that's what i'm gonna do uh but before i get to all of that i actually want to thank triple t and c money for you know bringing me into the nwf back in the day and you know letting me tag along for the ride i've had a lot of fun and um i've had a lot of great matches with both those guys throughout my years i will never forget them i will always remember them people that have watched us back in the day like to come up to me and remind me about those matches and say that I took a beating but they enjoyed it because I showed a lot of heart whether I won, whether I won or lost I just still showed that I had the passion for wrestling and I actually want to thank Joey Steele and Al Dukes for you know being my trainers and helping me progress my training and uh Giving me some great matches as well. Al Dukes, you're a tough motherfucker and I love wrestling you every chance I get. And Joey Steele, you high-flying son of a bitch. I just love you. I love everything you do. And just thanks, guys, seriously. Now, um, <laughs> now, don't worry, I'm not quitting wrestling. I'm going to continue my career, but I'm going to push past the backyard uh, wrestling, so to speak. I am, um, with the way that NABW has been, I know I'm kind of conjumbled, but um, just let me get it out, <laughs> but uh, with the way NABW has been, we had one show in the beginning of the summer, and then we were supposed to have another one, but that got prolonged because of certain things, uh, a lot of us couldn't show up to practice because a lot of us had to work, We were a lot of us were busy, and the couple times we we got a good amount of us together to practice. It was just kind of like, eh. And then the ring broke, and Triple T had to fix that. And then, uh, with the loss of uh, Chaos, um, he didn't. And the reason we lost him is because he didn't like the way things were being uh, worked or treated and stuff like that. And I understand him. I feel the same way. It just sucks. Um, and then once we lost Chaos, that's one wrestler down. And then that just leaves myself, Al Dukes, Triple, uh, not Triple T, I'm sorry, uh, Knight Rider, Blaze. I don't know if he left. I never really get to talk to Blaze on a personal level, but I know Chaos and J Class and C Money are friends with Blaze, so they have a better idea of Blaze's place in the NABW than I do. So I can't speak for him. Um, and I can't speak for anybody, actually, besides myself. Al Dukes, he's our NABW champion. He'll show up to defend the title because he has respect for the business, and he'll come do what he has to do. But even then, he still has to do what uh, feels right to him, and he can't stay with the NABW if nothing's happening and just let his skills dwindle away because he's a fucking amazing wrestler. I'm not going to lie. I love wrestling that man. It's just amazing. And I'm not dissing on the other guys, you know. See money I, if his arm didn't, you know, what happened to the arm and if that didn't he didn't get hurt or uh if he didn't get injured, I'm sorry. And this is kind of hard for me, you know. If he didn't get injured, you know, see money would be pushing forward and still doing his thing. Right now see money is doing uh DJing like he's been doing back in the day but now he's uh doing his old little internet radio thing it's kind of cool and uh some t i guess the boneyard's gonna be on it now but uh you know good luck to him and hopefully when his 
he gets full recovery in his arm. I would love to wrestle him again. I don't even care. Knight Rider, I don't like you personally. I think you're a pain in the ass. I think you're a dick. And I think you're too cocky for your own good. But you have always given me a good challenge. And that's what I like. Triple T, you'll learn to manage a business one day. Ah, uh, right in the kisser. Uh. <laughs> I've been waiting to see that one for ages. <laughs> no, but on a serious level, just if the circumstances were different, I think Triple T was would be able to handle this in a better environment. You know, the circumstances are really hard. We're a backyard wrestling group. We wrestle outside. We don't actually have a building to wrestle in, so it's hard to get people to come watch and want to sit down and blah, blah, blah. And we got to pray that the weather, when we want to actually do a show, is amazing and beautiful and sunny, or we just sit there and go, shit. You know? It's kind of hard, so I'm not blaming Triple T. It's it's really hard to work with the circumstances that it that is presented to him. As I'm stating. Who water. But, um, as I've said, I'm going to continue my career as a wrestler. I'm going to push myself and, uh, be the best in the world because I'm not going to give up. I'm going to show that I can be the best wrestler. I can show that I can be on top, even with BS. Uh, corporate and shit like that and storylines being boring and blah 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 I'm gonna make things interesting and fun now that subject I will be touching on my next video which is my feelings towards WWE CM Punk and a few other things I don't know if you guys are gonna like it but oh well it's my opinions don't like it suck it <laughs> excuse me but yeah um And all in all, I am leaving the NABW. It's hard for me to say, but um, it's something I have to do. Not something I want to do, but it's something I have to do. I can't keep doing these seasonal things where, okay, we're going to wrestle from this time to this time, but it's not a lot of wrestling. It's more like playing cat and mouse. And like I said, it's the cir the circumstances it's hard so i can't really blame you know the people i can't blame triple t i can't drain blame c money i can't blame none of them it's just it's really difficult circumstances and i don't know if every guy that i that is in the nabw will agree with me but for me anyways personally it's very hard circumstances and I love wrestling with those guys. I will wrestle with them even if I'm in the indie, doing my indie thing or becoming a pro or whatever. I'll come back and do a show here and there, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. These guys are my friends. These guys are family. I love them and I love wrestling with them. It's just I need to progress myself further. I don't want to just stay stuck in the backyard and not progress myself and just five years, ten years down the road and go, well, I had a lot of fun with that, but did it really progress my career? Did I really go as far as I wanted to go, as far as I could take myself, you know? Like I said, it's nothing against them. So, NABW fans, I love you guys to death. Please follow me when I further my career and in going into the indies and just having a blast you know and uh licw if you guys ever need a guy for your show let me know ahead of time and i'll i can't promise i'll make it but i'll do my damn best to even to show up and have a blast there also um so fans thank you for supporting me over these years uh keep supporting me as my career keeps going forward and uh follow me on twitter facebook youtube and, uh, you know, guys, I really love you. I really love the support. And uh, don't worry, I won't stop making videos. I'm going to keep you guys updated. And if uh, any of the NEBW guys want, you know, things put out on my show, I'm going to do it. I don't care. You know, they're still family. So, 
I hope you all have a good night, and I'll be seeing you all soon.